Hello. Today we're going to read On the PayPal Schism. The Holy Church is the home of all Christians on the earth, and at its head, its shepherd, that is, the Pope. The Pope is the leader of all Christianity, the successor to the seat of St. Peter, which was established by our Lord Jesus Christ himself. But it has transpired that not one, but two Holy Fathers sit upon the papal seat, and good Christians can only argue over which is the true one, and which one should be respected and which shall be eternally damned. It all began when Pope Boniface VIII refused to crown King Philip, the fair of France, as emperor, to which the latter refused to acquiesce, and in the year 1309, he had the Holy See removed to Avignon, where he could keep it under his watchful eye. Thus, for many years, the Holy Father sat upon the papal throne, not in Rome, but in France. In 1377, Pope Gregory decided to leave Avignon and return the papacy to Rome. But after his untimely death, two conclaves met to elect a new pope in both Rome and Avignon. And thus, it came to be that there was a Pope Urban in Rome and a Pope Clement in France, and both received great support from the rulers of Europe, who favored one pope over the other as they saw fit. These two popes excommunicated each other and proclaimed each other to be the arch-heretic and the anti-pope, and thus a great schism. And the clan within the Holy Church did arise, and now many do criticize it and demand remediation, for how can the pope fulfill his duties as shepherd, fulfill his duties as our shepherd, when there are in fact two popes who claim to be the true representative of God? and their rival to be a messenger of Satan. Whose words should a good Christian heed, and whom should they entreat for intercession? Which pope's hand may anoint the king? As long as there are two popes, hunger and pestilence shall plague the entire world, and much strife and suffering does await us.